Hey everyone, so I'm on my new regime here, uh, doing a video summary every week of my work with Ralph. Um, I also want to let you guys know that I have an academic essay coming up, which I will be posting tomorrow. And that's basically going to be dealing with um, pages 93 through 150 of Hannah Arendt's book, The Promise of Politics, uh, discussing her thesis in that section, giving, giving evidence to back it up, and uh, I'll be putting forward a pretty strong academic essay. Now, one thing I'd like to talk to you guys about is the idea of communication in politics. Now, we are talking about Hannah Arendt's book, and one thing I stated was that, <clears throat> you know, why does politics right now seem worse than it ever has been? Why does it seem so horrible? And what Ralph uh, replied, what Ralph um, said back to me was that, Many historians would argue that it's the same as it always has been. Uh, you know, many for a lot of people, it, politics always seems at its worst. No matter what point in time you're at, you know, it, it just seems as bad as it ever has been. And my rebuttal for that was that, well, what about media? What about communication? Doesn't it seem that there's so much over-communication, connection, and transparency in the life of not only uh, politicians but in the political system that it's almost brought politics to a whole new uh, almost gossip style level that we're so in touch with everybody's life and with what's going on that we really we've lost touch with the actual politics of today and that's a really interesting thing for me to think about you know, maybe the political system today is a lot worse, and maybe it's because of the amount of communication and connection uh, that we all share together. And maybe in terms of politics, that's becoming a negative thing. Commercials, um, everything you see online, you know, scandals, all these different things. Maybe they wouldn't have been out, or we wouldn't have heard of them, you know, in the uh, 40s or 50s or different things like that. I'm not really sure, but I feel like that was a really interesting thing that... Uh, he and I brought up. Um, the other interesting thing that I talked about was basing off of that, basing off the idea of, you know, Hannah Arendt is writing this in the um, latter of the 1950s, and how do I relate what she's saying about politics in the 1950s to politics today? That was a pretty interesting thing for me to think about. And what I said was that it was really hard for me to do that, and sometimes I find that a lot of things she states in The Promise of Politics are really hard for me to relate to today because they're basically about 1950s. You know, what she talks about doesn't include mass media and this new communication culture and the connectivity that we all share. And one thing that I'm going to try to work on from now on is reading Hannah Arendt's book and agreeing with her, using her reading to fill the gap between us, between us, and really take on her point of view and feel what she's saying and try to apply that to today. Um, the other thing Ralph and I talked about was the common good. Does politics serve the common good? I feel like it doesn't always serve the common good, but I feel like in essence, and I think my essay will back this up, politics was created and the political system is meant to serve the uh, political good. I mean the common good, excuse me. But I don't think it always does that. Um, the, the other things we talked about are um, how one is validated in their life by how one lives, uh, who one is and how they do live, and how that might be reflected, um, you know, as an individual in the political system. Um, you know, am I a virtuous person? You know, well, honestly, you know, what is virtue? Knowledge versus virtue, you know, was Socrates' big argument. But who we are and how we live is truly reflected in the political system. If, if you are a good, strong, and truthful individual, then the, the political system that you represent or that you're part of uh, will, reflect that. will reflect that. So, uh, thank you guys so much for listening, and look forward to my essay on Monday. Alright, thanks so much.